You are watching Metropole Television. My name is Simba Elijah Charles Kiyagi. We're still understanding the budget 2020-2021. Remember, this is the document that is going to govern the way in which you're going to carry out your business as from 1st July 2020 all the way to 1st July 2020. 21. Good. So this morning, I just want us to talk about a new introduction in the Finance Bill 2020, which is the 1.5% digital tax. Now we do know that you have been reading about it and you have many questions on exactly the way in which you're supposed to operate within this 1.5% digital tax. Now remember, we are still waiting for the regulations around this area to be fronted to us and so this morning to help us understand what is there, where this is coming from, what we should expect, when we should expect it. We do have Maurice Array this morning to help us understand the 1.5% digital tax in the 2020-2021 fiscal year. Good morning, Maurice. We're good. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. So let's get into that conversation. Can you give us a bit of history around this 1.5% digital tax? When did we start talking about it for us to start seeing it in the Finance Bill 2020? Maurice, are you saying that this digital tax, despite the conversations that are on the ground right now, is not just as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic? Because you can actually see that most of the conversations around this digital tax are attached to the COVID-19 pandemic. That it's scary realizing that, aha, just because of the COVID-19 pandemic, most of the businesses are moving online. Right. So the other question that everybody is looking at right now is the figure, the 1.5%. People are wondering, why is it 1.5%? Why couldn't it be 1%? Why could it be higher than that?
I, I want to jump into this area therefore because now everybody is waiting for these regulations to be drafted. When do we expect this to be drafted so that businesses know exactly how to register for this digital tax and when do we expect it to be fully operational Morris? When we really expect it to be operational, there, there are talks about it coming as uh, late as 2021. Let me just take you back to the conversation also around this 1.5% digital tax that's going to be operationalized now in the budget year 2020-2021. There's this feeling that this is just as a result of the predominant pressure that KRA is under to get more ordinary revenue to fund the government. Would you say that this is just as a result of expanding the tax bracket or as a result of the fact that you're cognizant of the, of the fact that you have to raise the 1.63? All right, we seem to have lost Maurice. Let's do that reconnection. Once we are back, we'll be talking about the area that he was addressing about the tax burden now as regards the 2020 digital tax at 1.5%. I think we have you back. Maurice, can you get me? So you were talking to me about the tax burden that KRA is facing now.
look quite easy this morning, but we do know that there's some other bigger economies like France that have tried to introduce the digital tax, but they did face an uphill task. Now, most importantly, now we do know that once we're talking about this digital tax, we are going to spread the net to other digital superpowers, which we do know have their base all the way in the USA. Now, you do know that Kenya is also in other conversations with the USA in terms, of, I will point you out to one, like the Agoa trade deal, and Kenya is also charting its front in just making business easier for our traders offshore now. Good. Is this going to complicate this issue like we saw what happened in front? City, therefore, that Kenya is trying to negotiate for, uh, you're giving us that confidence that, well, you're going to be the challenge. finding ourselves now since we do know that our country pretty much benefits so much from these economies of these companies that we want to tax case in point USA and China is that does that give us a lesser bargaining power even as we talk about yes we have to negotiate we are in the process of negotiating
much. Maurice, thank you very much for joining us this morning on Metropole TV. Right, that is our show this morning. Now you do know the 1.5% digital tax, where it's coming from, and we're still waiting for that proposal, therefore, to be graduated into the regulations that we're going to work on in the financial year 2020-2021. We were speaking to Maurice Ray this morning.